Hello everybody, today I will show you how to make orthographic TNO maps in QGIS paired with Inkspace and you may have seen it on my reddit post or on the wiki or discord but if you want to make those wikipedia style maps but for TNO countries this video explains it how so let us begin I'll have this google drive link set up in the description just so you know and these are all the these are all the resources I use here you also have to download Inkspace and QGIS I put the installers here and I mean, I mean you could do it all in QGIS but it's not really a program I can comprehend and you probably can too so we'll just use both for this video alright now that we started you can open the folder and also open QGIS here it goes, it's loading now inside of it you can try to find uh, find your find your files that you have downloaded it uh, for me it's in users, unity guy, I put it on desktop so it should be here ok this Tionopedia map resources and ok load this file tionoworldmap.json it will open up this window, select this, click OK or add layers and also open the graticules.shape file and you could also now place the grad graticules um, under the uh, yes under this shape file so now that you have this world map you will need to make uh, make the projection round so in order to do that you will need to go to settings custom projections and all right now we have to you have to select uh, your country that, that you will be making for the for this time I will be making Nepal so you can go on Google Maps maps here it is now okay now you can select a, a country or a place I'm going to try something central in like Nepal you could just select this okay copy these coordinates so right click uh, right click and uh, one left click it will copy it uh, and now paste it somewhere and see this formula you will have it into the I will have it in the description you will have to change these coordinates coordinates latitude and longitude so 28.7 you don't need the rest of the numbers uh, it won't really matter since it's precise you, you should copy this set it here copy this set it here under longitude now de delete this and click on ok I'm going to rename it since it's no longer about Sri Lanka it's in Nepal so yes now click on OK you will have to then click on this button uh, if you don't have it already here try going to user defined and then finding it so now it's Nepal click on apply so you see now the map has centered on onto Nepal so what you have to do now is uh, you'll have to go you'll have to zoom out a little just so the whole map can be seen click on project new print layout I'm just going to call it Nepal underscore location alright click on this button uh, and then just uh, hover it over the whole screen and just poof it in like that it doesn't matter how how large it will be since it's a S SVG file so don't worry about that layout and then just export it as SVG so I'm going to uh, export it into this folder I already set it to Nepal location and save it save now I'm going to open that folder click on that vector file it will load in Inkspace if you have already downloaded it. Okay, now 
open layer layers and objects open this folder and select all of these um, control and select all of these empty folders they don't have like a triangle uh, left to them so just delete them and you can also delete these three folders is there the background if th if they have like very little or if they have very little uh, of these paths and polygons you can just delete them now you'll be left with the gra graticules and the land okay you will also have to go to document properties and resize the content after you do you've done that you can start filling it, filling in the colors uh, click on the eclipse arc tool set snapping if you don't have it and selecting it one corner and pull it to the other like this so it creates a perfect circle you can put the circle under it and now you will have to open the text file with the color codes I sent uh, ocean 061115 uh, fill and stroke I'm going to set it for both stroke and fill if it creates here it is um, okay now now we're going to set it for uh, graticules so select this go to fill and stroke uh, there's, an uh, there's an object select this and just go to stroke paste it in here and I'll do that for you should also do that for now for land uh, land land here paste it in again now go to borders oops go to borders paste this in paste this code again second okay and now as you can see we created the map but we still don't have our country selected for that you will select this node tool and just so and just click on whatever country you want do you want and for this instance I'm going to do it with Nepal so go to fill and you could use any c color here I, I have said this one that I already have so highlight country copy paste okay now now that we have done it you also may realize that there are some irregularities and errors so try fixing them up like I don't know this line going on here and stuff like that so hold on a second if I can find something yes this line for some reason exists okay now try deleting it okay it won't really matter there's this line here try deleting that Second. okay now it looks a little bit more clean after that you can just click on export uh, set your location I'm going to set it in the same folder so I'm going to save it here N so I'm going to save it here yes and put it to PNG mm, if you want to save it like an image and just export it and that should be it now if we click on on that file save on location that PNG open it and here we ha have it you can also change the change the size of the file it won't really matter since it's an SVG, SVG. so yeah that's basically it thank you for listening and I hope you create cool maps goodbye